Now, I don't know if you feel the same, but these days it's very hard to come by a good multiplayer game. They really don't make them like they used to. So when Skull and Bones got announced, the trailer looked awesome and the thought of being able to play a game of that caliber with friends seemed really cool. And I saw that there was an open beta. I thought this is a perfect test. I'm going to kind of share my experience with you guys. You know, if you didn't get a chance to play the beta, you can see if it's something that might interest you and your friends as well. And kind of talk through the experience that we had over the couple of hours that we played. So hopefully this will give you some value and help you decide whether to part with your money for this game. So if you do enjoy it, please consider dropping a like and uh, yeah, we'll dive straight into it. Starting off, you know, we get attacked by the British fleet and that's kind of our first experience with the gameplay and the vibes that are going down. Pretty full on, it doesn't really give you too much information. You're just trying to steer yourself around and, you know, shoot and not get sunk. A lot of fun straight off the bat, I will say. And then inevitably, I thought it was my bad gameplay that got us sank, but that's actually meant to happen. And then it throws you straight into the character creation, which I thought was actually really cool, the way that they did this, like using a reflection. Yo, what's up, man? Can I have a short back and sides, please? So I went with the character that looks like Lagatha from Vikings, because I'm a bit of a fanboy. Body cosmetics. Yo, okay, we can go full-blown vikings vibes now not only is it a pretty original way to do character creation the options are actually decent as well which is sometimes a factor that games skip over but with this there's quite a few little customizations that you can make and obviously it seems that this game is going to be quite heavy with aesthetics and stuff so when you finish your character creation you, you kind of get picked up by another crew uh you're looking like rose from titanic a little stray on a piece of wood they pick you up you meet them for the first time and then you kind of make your way to the tutorial hub i want to say it's like the kind of first area where you kind of get to grips with how the game's going to pan out we meet an absolute arsehole of a man no doubt cowering in your quarters Whoa. like the filthy build rat you are you sound like some old woman, I'll punch you in your f And uh, he gives us our first mission. But my friend actually had jumped on at this point, so we, we did this together. Oh, you get your own little boat still? Yeah. Oh, must nuts. Be. Must be like a convoy. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, I've just crashed my ship. I'm not very good yeah, at same. sailing the, the seven seas. Kill it. I was thinking oh. trying to turn it around, oh. stab a shark and then uh, crash into a rock. Yeah, that's right. So we did these first couple of mini, like, retrieval missions. <laughs> and then we were ready to move on to the main hub, which uh, opened it up a whole lot more, and that's when we could really start progressing. The Indian Ocean holds I mean, it doesn't even look like this game's going to have any, like, land combat or anything, does it? It's just purely, yeah, just like, go and get loot and on the boat. Although, Whatever saying that, this bit that we've just got to looks pretty stock. big now. I'll try and invite you. Yeah, same. Just getting terrorised by everyone on the island. I'm about to go full oh, no. Rambo and punch everyone in the neck. <laughs> I tried it earlier. This is a reek of whale piss. Look at the st You are the whale. So as is the case with a lot of games similar to this, there's a lot of backwards and forwards talking to people. Oh, Blacksmith ignored me. GG. It's going really well for me. Refinery. Let me guess. She has no business with you yet. Yeah, of course. What about the cooking pot? Does that not want to speak to me either? Introducing yourself and learning who's where, you know, for like trading purposes and materials and what you need to buy and stuff. So a lot of that was going on. And then we were finally able to go out and get some resources to make our new and improved ship finally. We can get off this little matchstick boat and get onto something decent of the seas. There's a map. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. I've got a map, but I don't know what we need. Let's so check your map for the stuff, but I don't yeah, know Yeah, I, I can see it all on my... Can you see more markers or not? Yeah, yeah, the blue ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll go to that one first then. Weapons the are now enabled. Great, I can spear other boats today. I'm literally a vulnerable child at the ocean right now. At the ocean. <laughs> You're gonna hit oh. me! <laughs> I'm doing a tactical undertake. Oh yeah, these look like the trees. Whoa, whoa. I've got, I'm getting sea breeze in my eyes, man. Oh, here we go. Interact. What's that? Oh, it's you. Shit. So we were having problems with this mission where we couldn't actually interact with the wood that we needed to pick up, the acacia. How do I pick up the trees? So we tried multiple points on the map where it said we could collect it. And whether this was a problem with it like being on a spawn timer or something, I'm not sure. This guy's coming over now as well, look. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> 
yeah, we couldn't interact with it and we couldn't pick it up and it got kind of frustrating. But luckily, Connor found a way to get around that. Yeah, because when I looked at these, like, through, like, the, um, the looking glass, they got, um, Captain, they got 14 arcade, yeah? Oh, that was there is attacking us. Just a oh, yeah. more. Ah, we got him. Yeah. Lose Go. Go. I'm getting battered. <laughs> right, so. You just, you just got to deliver it back to where we came from. Mate, he's hammering Whoa. you. Use a repair kit. Mate, I'm trying. Uh, there was a call down. I had to wait. <laughs> Let me craft it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yo, our that's ship's that's getting made. Name. Let's go, team. Come on. Yo, a big round of applause for them. Come on. So we'd finally got ourselves a new ship, which was awesome. And this kind of opened the game up a whole lot more and make a lot more missions available for us. Upon crafting it, we were able to talk to the people that were blanking us before so we could speak to the blacksmith. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my piss on a <laughs> The day. steam off my I'm piss. Sure you're... Get the uh, cannons ready for our ship. So we had some defense and get an idea of like the customization that we was going to be able to do throughout. And that was like ship cosmetics as well. And... Honestly, there's a lot of choice, and this is just for this variation of ship. So obviously, we haven't seen what the potential is for like further progression and the, the next ships that you can get. But I will say, I am a sucker for good cosmetics. And although it seems like it's going to be the kind of grindy game where you are literally just grinding to be able to afford these, I can get behind that, honestly. So after figuring out what we wanted to save for to make our ships look absolutely spiffing, it was time to take them out for a spin. You know, we both decided to save our money and uh, head out and do this first mission and save up for some of the better cosmetics. Use your spyglass to identify your targets. Target too far. There. Oh. Kill him, Josh! <laughs> Get him! Kind of docked him. Oh yeah. Soon they'll be swimming with the fish. Oh, the direct hit on him. Let's go. Sorry, I might may have nearly sunk you then as well. No, no, no. I am okay. Uh, so there's one more we should go after. Is it that one over there? It's gonna go up right in front of me now. Whoa! Front row oh, seats, baby. Done. Go on. Jan Duppy. Fuck him up, Glad. Man go like Jan. Dupper. Get out me fucking brig! <laughs> Concealer, can you, what would we do with singing? a drunk concealer? That's Mate, you're giving me no room to stay up. Where do you want me to go? So after avoiding any serious collisions, we managed to get back and get our reward. And at this point, I decided to go shopping. Spent all my money on cosmetics, no worries. We found that we were then able to get a lot more missions from like bounty boards and other merchants and stuff around the map. So we headed out on our next main adventure. And this was definitely a step up. It was more in the open ocean. Lots of ships, lots of fights going on, and you know, really tested our knowledge of the mechanics so far. No one's gonna touch Malak. Get away in your tiny boat. Well, oh, it's said, so. the number keys. It's number three. This actually, this looks wicked in first person. Number three. You, yeah, Whoa. you look like you're bombing your lung. Yo, we've got a crew, man. I know, yeah. How's it going, team? This is your captain speaking. Good work. <laughs> I need to slow down so I can rebuild stamina. Wait, what are these massive fish that are jumping out? The dolphins. Right, so shoot them till they're near death and then try and board them. I'm going to go sideways on. I'll start agitating them then. Oh, oh, it says crew boarded yeah. already. To be fair, you might be able to just do it for us. Whoever gets there first. Oh, that's a bush. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> we're, no, we're going to sink it. Oh. 
I didn't, I didn't do anything. I stopped. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Just jabbed his forehead off. Oh, we need another one. There's one over here. Yeah. All right, we'll try and board this one then. Oh, board. <laughs> board. Try and board this one. I'm a pirate. Wee. <laughs> you are. You have to lock on. I do. I done it. Did I miss? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh no. I've, got an I've just crashed into the other one in front of us. Oh, he's coming for you. Oh, why didn't let me do crew boarding? Come on. Mate, watch your health. You're really low. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm dead. Oh, oh no. I oh, know boarding complete. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'm flashing, I'm, I'm going to die. I don't know how, because everything just blew up. So I thought I'd leave a bit more game playing for that last mission so you can kind of get an idea of like the interactions between me and my friend and how the game mechanics work and kind of form your own opinion without just listening to me ramble on. But I want to start off by saying that the game is absolutely stunning, especially when we found out how to put it into first person. Yo, she's got a voice of an angel. I feel like it was a completely different vibe and you, you really felt a lot more immersed. And you know, the way you can see your crew doing their work and singing and stuff is really cool. The environments are fantastic, especially with like the weather effects and how you can get caught in a storm like you saw. And then obviously you're going to be dealing with random interactions with other players and stuff as time goes on. John, we, we are that and you took all our loot, you big bitch. Give it back. One thing I will say though is that as enjoyable as these first two hours were, I'm a bit concerned that it's going to be very much rinse and repeat and we will actually have experienced the majority of the mechanics and play style in that first two hours. So as much as I want to go back and play it more at the moment, I'm thinking, am I still going to feel the same in, you know, 10, 20 hours? Is it still going to have the same hook to get me back in? So that's one thing to consider, but overall, a very enjoyable experience. But I hope this video provided some value for you and helped you decide whether this is going to be the game for you and your pals. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider leaving a like and of course, subscribing for more content. And I will see you all real soon.